The domain over which we want to solve our governing equations is shown over here, and this is what we need to create in the geometry step. And it's a 2D uh, domain because we are making the axisymmetric assumption, and when we do that, this should be interpreted not as x, but as the uh, axial coordinate, and that should be the radial coordinate. So if I annotate that, so I would say, hey, you know, when I see this coordinate, I would interpret that as the axial, which is usually denoted as z, and that is the radial. So you have to make that mental substitution. And, and to create this curve, uh, we need to know the equation of that curve, um, and that we can back out from the variation of the cross-sectional area. So let's say that distance, pardon my chicken scratch, is r um, at any given axial location. And we are given that the cross-sectional area at any location is given by that variation. Here, x interpret that as the axial coordinate. And the cross-sectional area is pi r squared, r being shown over here. And from that, we can back out how r, that is this r, varies as a function of the axial distance. So that's the equation we will use to, to draw this curve. If I go into Workbench um, and drag in Fluid Flow Fluent, and I can give it an appropriate name, uh, I'll call it um, Compressible nozzle flow, and then analysis type. Um, you might need to say uh, right click on geometry and select properties and you'll see the analysis type and set it to 2D. Since so it's a 2D analysis and then right click on geometry and say new space claim geometry. It may take um, a minute or so for space claim to to come up and I'll go under file space claim options we will work in terms of meters so under units I'll set it to meters and the minor grid spacing I'll say is 0.1 that's more um, suitable for the dimensions we have <coughs> And the 2D geometry has to be on the XY plane. So I'll say, select my sketch plane and select the XY plane by um, by going to you know the upper right, which will select the back plane. And then I'll say, uh, look at plane or plan view. And so, okay, I'm looking at the XY plane. And let's draw the nozzle wall, the curve for the nozzle wall first, which I can do by this option, create geometry using equations. And there are built-in ones. Instead of that, what I'll do is I'll say custom. And you see it's in terms of t. So if I say x equal to t, then x and t are the same. And so t or x, or actually the axial coordinate, goes from minus 0.5 to plus 0.5. And at this point, we should see a preview of the line, and I was staring out my hair why I was not seeing it. And it turns out when you're in meters, it's even if you change the units, it's still doing it in millimeters. So you have to scale everything by a factor of thousand to go from meters, uh, from millimeters to meters. And if you do that, you'll see a preview of that line. Uh, but what we want, our um, variation is given by that. So let me input that. So I have x squared uh, plus 0.1 and then that whole thing divided by, in fact what I'll do is I'll say I'll bring up the bigger window, it's easier to see. Uh, t squared divided by pi, 3.1416. I can find a built-in pi, and then I need to take the square root. And I found that you have to capitalize S in SQRT. Okay, um, so that should 
give me my line. Um, okay, that looks right. So you see it gives you a preview over here and then say, click on it and it will create um, your line. And then escape, escape to get out of the equation sketch. And uh, I can rename this as nozzle wall. Okay, so if I zoom in using the middle mouse wheel and translate by holding down control and moving the middle mouse button, um, I can get a more suitable view. And then I will do the rest of the sketch. So I'll say sketch line. Um, so here you see snapping to endpoint. And over there, actually over here. And then see that's one, so that's good. And then that'll close it. Then I'll say escape, escape actually three times, so I'll get out of sketching. And then if I go to 3D mode, that's it creates a surface bounded by those curves. And that's a domain over which we want to solve our uh, governing equation. So I'll say file. Um, actually, I'll, I'll exit space claim over here. And then I can go in here and say file save and go to a suitable folder and give it a suitable name nozzle uh, for instance i'll say nozzle demo over here because i already have a nozzle and you'll see it'll create this file and create the associated folder and you need both uh, to resume your project